Welcome back to our channel, where we bring you the latest news and updates from around the world. In today's video, we'll be discussing the rising water levels in Tulare Lake, located in the Central Valley of California. So, let's dive right in. Water levels in Tulare Lake have been on the rise, signaling a significant change in the lake's condition. Tulare Lake is the largest freshwater lake west of the Mississippi River, but it has been shrinking for decades due to various factors such as climate change, increased water demand, and agricultural irrigation. However, in recent months, the lake has seen an increase in water levels. Above-average snowfall in the Sierra Nevada mountains has resulted in more water flowing into the lake. Additionally, the decrease in water demand caused by the COVID-19 pandemic has played a role in the rising water levels. While the rise in water levels is a positive development, it has also raised concerns about potential flooding. Tulare Lake is located in a low-lying area, surrounded by agricultural land. If the lake were to overflow, it could cause significant damage to property and infrastructure. To address these concerns, the Bureau of Reclamation is actively working on mitigating the flooding risks associated with Tulare Lake. They are constructing levees and implementing other flood control measures. Additionally, the Bureau is collaborating with farmers to reduce water usage and ensure the sustainable management of water resources. Tulare Lake holds great historical and environmental significance. It was once the largest freshwater lake west of the Mississippi River, covering over 1,000 square miles. The lake provided habitat for a variety of wildlife and supported the region's economy through agriculture, recreation, and transportation. However, due to the impacts of climate change, increased water demand, and agricultural practices, the lake began to shrink in the late 19th century. The recent rise in water levels offers hope for its recovery, but the long-term outlook remains uncertain. It's essential to remember that the recent rise in water levels doesn't guarantee a permanent solution. Continued efforts to conserve water and adapt to climate change are crucial to protecting Tulare Lake and the millions of people who rely on it. That's all for today's video. We hope you found this information informative and valuable. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.